briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1811 case of People v. Ruggles, the New York Supreme Court of Judicature addressed the balance between religious freedom and the use of hateful language against Christianity. The defendant was accused of using profanity against Jesus Christ and his mother in the presence of Christians, an action considered a common law offense as it undermines Christianity's core principles and moral obligations. Despite the Constitution guaranteeing religious freedom, the court argued that such offenses have a direct impact on society's fundamental interests and therefore must be punished. Examining the language used by the defendant, the court found it to be blasphemous and malicious, demonstrating a clear intention to dismiss Christianity rather than engage in serious debate. Ultimately, the court held that wicked and malicious words, writings, and actions vilifying the Gospels were offenses against public peace and safety, inconsistent with the administration of an oath and in violation of the statute for preventing immorality. Upholding the judgment from the lower court, the defendant was found guilty of uttering blasphemous words against Christianity and was punished accordingly. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.